Because education matters, a Lake Hamilton middle school student says she is being threatened with suspension after refusing to wear a mask to school despite a district-wide mask mandate. Our Alexis Wainwright spoke with the family. Alexis, what are her reasons for not wearing a mask? Well, Laura, the student says that she has medical reasons behind this decision. Meanwhile, students and staff are required to wear masks while inside that building with the district, and things quickly escalated when she showed up on Monday. Ninth grader Shelby Alt was excited for the new school year and to play in the band again. But when she showed up to Lake Hamilton Middle School Monday with no mask, she was sent home. And several other teachers tell me that I need a mask, and I say, no, sir, no, ma'am, I'm not wearing one. She returned Tuesday with no mask, but again, she was turned away. I asked her why she refuses to wear a mask. Because it's caused a lot of problems for me, and it's not comfortable. I'm always picking at it, and it caused a lot of acne. And Her father says she also has other health issues, including a respiratory infection and nosebleeds. He says he stands behind his daughter's decision. Well, I've always taught her to stand up for herself. You know, don't don't take anything from anybody. All says Tuesday he was told by the school that if his daughter shows up again maskless, she will be suspended. I'm not happy about it, not one bit. You know, I had a long discussion with uh, both the principals at the junior high school today. Mm -hmm. They, uh, they're very nice. We're both very respectful to each other. If I tell her, you know, no, you know, it's over. You're going to school tomorrow. You're putting a mask on. Well, is that teacher for the future? Lake Hamilton School District sent us a statement saying, quote, a student, staff member, or visitor will not be permitted inside a school building or indoor facility on campus if an appropriate face covering is not worn. And they went on to say the Lake Hamilton School District offers a virtual learning option for students with a verified medical need from a medical professional. What is your response to that? Will you go virtual or where do you go from here? I feel like if I go virtual, then that would be another way of me giving up for the mask mandate, and if I have to do virtual, I will. But it feels like to me, I don't want to do virtual. Um, was told no, it will not happen more than likely because she does not have a serious enough medical condition And tonight, Alt tells me that she plans to come back here to school tomorrow without a mask. In the meantime, the family says they hope to meet with the district and come to some type of outcome because they want her back in school getting an education and playing with the band. Reporting live tonight in Piercy, Alexis Wainwright, KRK 4 News. Alexis, thank you very much. On the